so beautiful souls and yoga vibe when you're just feeling pissed off because let's face it i mean people may think because i teach yoga that i'm always love and light peace and joy and all that kind of thing is not true whether you're going through menopause or not there are days when you just get pissed off when you feel angry frustrated when things are going wrong and it's like ah and here's where yoga we can use yoga to transmute that energy and here's the thing getting angry if you're going through depression something like that getting angry is actually kind of a good thing in a way because it's a step up the emotional scale i mean nobody wants to be angry but quite often when you're depressed it's way down the emotional scale you've got no energy you feel drained you've got no get up and go so actually anger is a kind of step up and there's actually nothing wrong with being angry we just don't want to stay there but if we can transmute that anger and turn it into energy that we can use because I think when we get angry, we get all tense and tight and clench our jaw, and rrr, which is not good for our body. And I've had a week, a month actually, of just one thing after another happening that's made me go, ah, I can't cope anymore. So I thought, you know what, as it's Mental Health Awareness Month, even though mental health is a big passion of mine, I thought I'd do a short little yoga vibe for those days when you're just pissed off. <laughs> so just take a moment to check in and if you are feeling angry frustrated brr, notice where that is in your body how does it manifest in your body does it feel like a tightness are you wearing your shoulders around your ears are you clenching your jaw are you just tense generally or do you just feel Ugh. however you feel is perfect just notice no judgment no criticism just simply notice Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Sigh out. <sighs> also, sighing has been scientifically proven to kind of literally calm you, to, to activate your parasympathetic nervous system. Even better if you want to make a noise like this. <sighs> Whatever feels good for you. So we're going to start off with an exercise from Kundalini Yoga, which is one of my favorites. It's great for stress relieving and it's also an energy booster. So you have the feet a little bit wider than the hip width. You're gonna wrap your fingers around your thumbs. If you can, touch the base of your little finger with your thumb. If not, just literally wrap your fingers around your thumbs. Hug your elbows in, soften your knees. When we soften our knees, we feel grounded because we're more in connection with the earth. All we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in through the nose, you're gonna hold the breath and you're gonna punch out as hard as you can with the breath held in. Then you're gonna exhale. <sighs> and it will really boost your energy as well as transmute in, uh, anger. So take a deep breath in. Hold that breath and really punch, 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 punch. Get angry. You know, sometimes us women, or maybe we're brought up in a household where we're kind of told, taught that it's wrong to get angry, wrong to express our emotions. And that's when we can end up kind of turning inwards and we turn things like self-harm, drug abuse, alcoholism, that kind of thing. So there's nothing wrong with getting angry, we just need, don't need to stay there. Breathe in as deeply as you can and really, really get mad. It's good abs workout as well. So draw your belly button in. Because as you're punching, you're twisting as well. And really, really, if something or someone has annoyed you, imagine punching it out of the way. Punch, 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 punch. And when you need to breathe out, imagine all that stress coming out in the exhale. Yeah, really go for it. Go, 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 go. Get mad, get rah! <sighs> Once more. Go for it. Punch, 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 punch. The more energy you put in, the more you'll get in return. <sighs> and you can do that a few more times if you wish. Already you should feel yourself kind of like calming down a little bit. But we just want to go to ha, Kriya. On the exhale, you ha! and feel that ha in our belly. So again, knees soft, arms up, palms down, breathe in through the nose, and exhale, ha, pulling your elbows right in beside you. Maybe you struggle to express anger. Ha! Ha! 
If so, these exercises ha, ha, will help you with that. the feet in so some of us are kind of like subliminally taught that it's wrong to get angry and that's often why we turn to things like self-harm which i used to do eating disorders company eating that kind of thing as a way of dealing with our emotions it's a shitty coping mechanism and it took me a long time after i'd uh, had an eating disorder 15 years to realize that it was a coping mechanism so take the weight onto one leg and shake out the other leg eating disorders are never about food they're never about food. They're never really about weight either. It's an emotional cause. Now really shake that leg out among all your cells. You're recalibrating, shaking them up like a snow globe. And say so when we get tense, we tend to tense the muscles. That's how we end up with uh, neck aches, shoulder ache, headaches. Yeah, and take a nice deep breath as you're doing that. Feel all the muscles shaking. Then stomp it out. If you watch children, children have a great way of, they have a temper tantrum, poof, or over it. We keep hold of our anger because we keep regurgitating it. And just notice how that leg feels compared to the other side. You will feel a difference. And do the same on the other side. Shake it out as vigorously as you can. And really vigorous. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Feel it shaking from your booty to your toes in nice deep breaths as you're doing that then stomp it out get the acupressure points in your feet can really get angry and release and shake out the arms get as big as you can whenever we take the arms above the head we raise the energy anyway and after shaking off any negativity any low vibration emotion, my hands look really big doing that, don't they? <laughs> shake it off, shake it, shake it, shake it. And shake it all the way down. And we do an exercise that's great for releasing tension in the jaw. And it makes you smile because you feel the wally, because we do lion breath. So take the feet a little bit wider, so we inhale through the nose. When you breathe out, stick out your tongue, turn your eye gaze all the way up. And breathe out as deeply for as long as you can like this. Breathe in and out. And keep breathing out as long as you can. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tongue out, eyes up. Once more, breathe in and out. Ah, uh, release. So that releases tension in your jaw. We're going to come down onto the floor and do one of my favourite exercises taken from a Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Your neighbours might wonder what you're doing, but again, it's a great way to transmute anger. So you're going to come onto your back and extend the legs up to bed. You might need to bend your knees slightly. Draw your belly button in, arms down, and just going to beat the ground. Just literally. shake them out as vigorously as you can. Studies have actually been done to show that three minutes spent shaking out your whole body can literally change your whole chemical structure. So really do shake them out and your legs will start to get heavy. You'll start thinking, oh my god, this is harder than it looks. But when you start to fatigue, shake even harder. We're not here for too long, so shake even harder. Shake it out, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's good for working your tummy muscles as well. Keep going, even harder. I know you're starting to get tired, but even harder. Come on, you can do it. 
one more breath, inhale, exhale, and inhale, tense all the muscles in the legs. Can you imagine gripping all the bones in your legs, squeeze even tighter, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release them slowly. I know you want to drop them, but slowly lower your legs. <sighs> Notice how your lower body feels compared to your upper body. And lift your arms and shake your arms. Again, as vigorously as you can, so it always feels like you're about to bounce along the floor. So again, really shake it out. Again, really, really, really get really vigorous, as energetic as you can. Again, you're shaking up, you're changing your whole molecular structure. Go, 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 go. And inhale, tense all the muscles in your arms, squeeze, grip tighter, 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 tighter. Hold it even tighter, squeeze. And exhale. So you have got one more exercise. And this exercise boosts the happy hormones in your body, stimulates your solar plexus, and lifts your mood. Now without thinking about it, just start to laugh. <laughs> Started. See, when you start to laugh, you'll end up laughing simply because you're laughing at nothing, and that makes me laugh even more. Then I'm laughing at the fact that I'm laughing at nothing, so that makes me laugh even more. Then I'm laughing at the fact that I'm laughing at the fact that I'm laughing at nothing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but you'll feel it. it literally lifts your mood. It tells your body that you're happy, and it stimulates your solar plexus, causes your body to produce those happy hormones. Our gut is also linked to our mental health, and you can stay. You can chill out here in relaxation just stay for a few breaths or you can stretch yourself out bring yourself up to sitting whatever feels right for you but just take a few moments to notice how you feel compared to when we started i mean i know this all this past few months to be fair has been just a series of events that have really really tested my patience my calm my everything and this morning i did lose my shit i did i wanted to smash things so i'll be completely honest you know i'm not one of those like no oh, no i'm loving right all the time la, la, la. you know there are t we we have a limit and there are times when it feels like life is just squish 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 and we have a breaking point but the thing is if we can do something like this that can change our energy because otherwise we just end up sitting in the shit basically we end up sitting with our feelings and getting more and more and more angry and if you want to talk on an energetic level obviously your vibrations affect everything that's happening around you so if you're sending out rah, energy that's when you're more likely to attract people who annoy you so being able to transmute that anger that energy that frustration into more positive energy is a good thing right so i hope this has helped uh, please let me know your experience if you want to leave a comment down below absolutely fantastic if you'd like to know more about working with me or joining the four week program to help you move through menopause with grace and ease then also drop me a message enjoy the rest of the day thank you so much for joining me me sharing my passion absolutely love connecting with new people and have an amazing rest of the day Mwah.